next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG, Ireland, on the MMA map. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy, and with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. And it's time! Five in the UFC Walkerweight Division. It's for Lucy first. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor And now it's going to see opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Ricky Boy. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Opens up with a front kick. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. That punch will work right through the guard.
Both fighters throwing heat now. Huge uppercut misses. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Good punch. The combinations are flowing. Oh! He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hurt him with that right. Good combination. Not a good look there, Joe, as he eats a shot to the body. It looks like he's becoming increasingly more vulnerable to that strike. Certainly left the body wide open on that one. Nice. Joe, he missed with that straight right attempt. Very good job of timing these shots here. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, beautiful combination. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Eats a, a nice right hand. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell Going short. Going the body now with that hook, well placed there by McGregor. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Effective punch there by McGregor. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice straight left. That knee might have landed there. McGregor gets the tie clinch here. Tying up in the clinch here. Looks as though he's got the over under here, Joe. Works the double underhooks here. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Straight punch gets through. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice combination from McGregor. Slightly deflected. Nice. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And he connects with the punch there. He's getting the hands going here early. Oh, big shot by Connor. Oh! Half guard. And got full mount. McGregor's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Looks like he's got a submission locked up. He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm, tie it up, then shift his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his face. Then he wants to sit back, break the grip, extend his body, straight down. Straight down, down. technique, do perfect it. technique. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Yeah, Joe, I would agree. High-level stuff, the way he worked there to isolate the arm, secure it, and ultimately force the tap. The arm bar finish comes here in this round. Hard to do it much prettier than he did just there. And here's the end. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. The notorious Conor McGregor! Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with his chief corner, John Kavanaugh.
a massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the notorious Conor McGregor. Going to be interesting to see how he moves forward after another big win here tonight. Survive.